click track. Click, click track all the time, right? I, do you... I'm a big fan of the click track. Yeah. I like the click track. I think I like I like it in Vader a lot because it stops me from counting in the songs too fast. Because uh, when you're dealing with those kind of blast beats, you know, it's very easy to count the songs in too fast, and yeah. it, you you won't play it right. You know that kind of speed. So I tend to I use the metronome to keep me focused on power. I never I never have to think about the speed. You know? mm -hmm. since we also do a lot with backing tracks now, so click track is really really important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer to record on your own or together with the other guys? I always prefer live. When again, whenever possible, it depends on. You know, it depends on stuff like Vader. A lot of the stuff was still only in the in its baby stages, so live, a live recording wasn't really possible. But you know, with uh, with Divine Chaos, with my other band, we uh, I had the guitar player in the studio with me, so we were. We had the metronome on, but we were playing to each other more, and that was that accounted for a lot of the feel that, on that album. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, of the stuff that you've, well, possibly not only recorded, maybe also just played, but haven't recorded yet, are there any parts that make you especially proud and make you think, hmm, this is something I, I like to share with people, this uh, is me? I mean, the whole, the whole Divine Chaos album, uh, which is called A New Dawn of the Age of War, I'm very proud of. We did that, I recorded that about three years ago, maybe more, I was 20. I was we recorded that in 2011, and it's only just come out now. It took a long time to get everything together, but I'm very happy with that. Uh, I used to be in a band called Written in Waters, and there's a song called Him, which I think is probably the best rhythmic composition I've ever done. Uh, I came up with a lot, none of it's hard, at all, but I just came up with a lot of ideas that really surprised myself. And structurally, I think mm -hmm. it's it's quite a quite a neat little song. Mm -hmm. So I was very happy with. Can you with look it two. up on? Uh, yeah, yeah, you somewhere? can find it. You can find it on if you just put "Written in Waters" and "Him" into YouTube, you'll you'll find it. Okay. And it's it's a live live video recording as well, so you can see what's going on and everything is great. It's a really nice video. Uh, when it comes to Vader stuff, I of the Abyss on the last album I'm really happy with. I'm really happy with uh, Light Reaper, that song. I mean, I'm, ha I'm happy with the album as a whole, but I'd, I'd say I'm especially proud of, of, I guess, those two songs and, and Hex and Castle as well. Being on the road, what kind of features do you think a, 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 a drummer should have, not only as a musician, but also as a person? To be able to tour. Uh, you've got to be very patient. I mean, as you saw in Soundcheck today, things take a long time. You have to be very, very patient. And, and you just have to be someone that people want to be around. Uh, I'm sort of... I don't know if I, if, I'm dem if I demonstrate those qualities, I hope so, but... Uh, if people don't want you, you're living together. That's the main thing to, I think, Appreciate. There's lots of drummers or musicians on the tour, on tours that are some are, some are terrible, some are, some are great musicians. It doesn't really matter. The most important thing I think is personality and being aware that you are living with other people. So if you, as long as you show people respect and, and you're you know you're patient and you're kind and, mm -hmm. and you're you know you give you give time you give time to everybody and all that kind of stuff, then yeah. they'll do the same thing to you and people will want you to tour with them again. So that's, I think. Yeah. Most of the drummers we've spoken to, they always say, be on time, you know. Come, yeah, you know, punctuality. Punctual, punctuality you know. is very important. No, it's only when playing. <laughs> yeah. 
Punctuality is really, really important yeah, as well. Yeah. True. Of course. Okay. Uh, how do you prepare for a show? My my general, when we're doing a tour like this, when we've got a, a tour bus and... Oh, it's moving. When we've got a tour bus and that kind of stuff is... I will take a short sort of 20 minute, 20 to 30 minute kind of power nap. Uh, after after dinner, just sort of relax and slow my heart rate down and just chill out mm. a little bit. I'll, have a, I'll get up, I'll have a coffee. I like to brush my teeth before a gig as well. I'm kind of, I'm kind of weird like that, but I really like to do that. And, um, and then I've just got a, I guess it's around a 30 minute warm up routine. Okay. with some, some stretches as well try and drink a lot of water I try and keep breathing I mean obviously to live but try and keep try and focus on focus my breathing and make sure that I'm getting enough oxygen into the into my blood so that I don't tense up basically okay and some pad exercises yeah yeah mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's 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 just a 10 minute 10 minute routine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 10 minute pad routine just working on sing working on singles mainly especially for the Vader stuff yeah definitely working on singles mm -hmm. and then I've got a couple of Vader songs that I'll play along too and then it's normally showtime yeah okay